Yeah, you've done a great job, Danny, getting the, these programs together and players to come out and, and show off in the beautiful city and surroundings of Desert Hot Springs. Well, I think we have a real hidden gem here with our great landscape and nice people. Yeah, yeah now yeah, they've yeah. got a classical concert series. It's yes, amazing. Yeah. yeah, people are finally, more people are finally starting to hear about the concert series. Yeah, I was obviously extremely disappointed that we weren't able to present any live concerts, but the videos were an interesting opportunity. You know, we shot three videos outdoors at kind of iconic Desert Hot Springs locations that kind of capture um, the spirit of the place. And then my concert was recorded here at my home because this piano isn't going anywhere. Um, <laughs> and then, it, like you said, it was great to be, to be able to kind of virtually welcome people into your home since... Um, mm -hmm. These instruments are best experienced, I think, in that kind of more intimate setting. So hopefully that, Definitely. you know, especially yeah. your concert video, I think, I, I think it hopefully captured something that the audience would not have been able to experience in a live concert in a church or a recital hall. Right. Well, we persevered. It, has, it hasn't been easy. Um, I went through a real withdrawal for a while. I, I didn't even want to play. I just felt so separate from that audience aspect of music where you you don't just play by yourself or for yourself. It's, it's something that you want to share with people. And as a performer, suddenly with all of that opportunity withdrawn, I felt withdrawn and have had to really kind of instruct myself, you know, come back, come back, find yourself again and be ready to go when people can join in and play the part of the audience. A very essential part of, of music making. I am right there with you. I, for much of the last year, I have just been so disoriented and distraught. I think the rational part of my brain early on said, all right, well, I guess I'm going to make the most of this time and I'm just going to you know, hunker down and I'm just going to practice like crazy so that once I can play again, I'll be in tip top shape, but it's just really hard to hold on to the motivation and inspiration to practice without having the opportunity to share music with people, especially live. Um, live you know, right. there, are, there are a lot of challenges with doing live music on the internet, although you know people, people are able to do it, but if you really wanna do it right, and especially with acoustic instruments, if you wanna make them sound really good, it's not easy to do it well live. And then even during pre-recorded video concerts like we did, <laughs> that has its challenges too. You know, back at the end of 2020 when we were shooting those videos, we were either shooting them outside, which uh, definitely helped minimize uh, any potential risk to everyone who was involved, or, you know, shooting a concert video in your home. <laughs> we were <laughs> trying right. to, you know, make sure that people weren't inside the house any more than was absolutely necessary and everyone was masked and distanced and it was a matter of just like quickly setting up a bunch of cameras and pressing record and then getting out right. <laughs> and letting you I do know. your thing and it's yeah, it, it's, yeah. A, it's a very artificial either way it's just it's a very artificial environment it's 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 not the same as being in the room with people and actually like getting that energy yeah yeah definitely <laughs> What's great now is that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Where mm -hmm. we're seeing more and more people get vaccinated and um, things start to slowly open up and things slowly start to be less risky and more safe and um, outdoor performances are possible. And uh, with any luck later this year, we might be able to have some live concerts again here in Desert Hot Springs and fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yes. Uh, we can resume a, a normal concert season in January of 2022. We'll see. Yeah, we'll hope for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, this has been great. Thanks for yeah. taking the time to chat, and I hope people enjoy tuning in to Meg's concert coming up. Like I said, it's a little different from the others in that it's an opportunity to get invited into a musician's home and uh, get to know their instruments. Um, Meg not only performs, but she kind of demonstrates and talks a little bit about the history of, of each of the instruments. And, um, you know, even though we've been friends for actually most of my life, uh, Meg's known me since True. I was a seven-year-old yeah. music student, um, 
back in Western Massachusetts. Uh, I am still learning things from Meg and uh, learning things about- Well, that goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> learning things about music and about life and, and especially about all of her fantastic instruments. So I hope everyone enjoys tuning in and uh, hearing some wonderful music and learning about some instruments that you uh, aren't likely to encounter elsewhere. Thanks again, Meg. Thank you.